Hey everyone, Dan back here. I'm here to show you how to get started with culling inside of LightPanel. Now, be sure you watch the initial video which talked about how to install LightPanel and how to configure your preferences. Now let's get into the culling. All right, first thing we wanna do is open up a Lightroom catalog for a job that we want to cull. Now, some people will keep a Lightroom catalog per job. Some people have a single Lightroom catalog with folders inside of it for each job. LightPanel will work in either way. Just make sure you open up your catalog and then pick the folder where the photos live that you want to cull. So inside of Lightroom, just make sure that in the folders pane, you've selected the folder where the photos live. Then over inside of Light Panel, I'm going to start by hitting the Analyze button. If my job folder has subfolders inside of it, be sure to include the subfolders option that will search through the subfolders as well. What the Analyze button will do is it's going to go through all the photos in that folder and it's going to look for photos that are similar to each other, what we call duplicate photos. So those are photos that are taken about the same time and have about the same visual similarity to each other. It's also going to look for eyes that are closed and for photos that might be out of focus and it's going to flag those. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit that Analyze button. Now, finding duplicates is super fast. On this job of over a thousand photos, it was able to go through and find 343 duplicate photos in 123 duplicate groups for me in just a few seconds. Now, in the background, if we look down here at the background progress indicator, it's going through and it's reanalyzing those photos to look for potential eyes closed or potential blur. This happens in the background. That way you can start your culling process right away and you don't have to worry about waiting for this entire process to complete. You also notice it's put us into duplicate review mode automatically. The duplicate button is illuminated and it's put Lightroom into survey view. So I see the first set of duplicate photos. And for whichever photo I have selected, it will show me the faces here inside of the faces pane. Now, if you're having a hard time seeing which photo is the selected photo in Lightroom, change the background color in Lightroom. Simply right click on the background and pick something in the dark gray or darker gray option that makes an obvious white outline around the selected photo. All right, so now the process is just to pick which photo I like better. So I just look at both photos and it doesn't have to be one or the other. I could keep both or I can get rid of all of them. It's really up to me. All I'm gonna do is use the normal keyboard shortcuts I would in Lightroom to set the ratings based on my preferences for what I'm going to do. So essentially, if it's a photo that I want to promote to a select, one that I want to keep and show my client, I'll change the rating to a four. If it's one that I don't wanna to show to them that I'm gonna leave in the duplicates, I'll just leave it at a three. And if I want to remove both, I just give them both four stars. So I'm gonna look at both of these photos, I'm gonna look at their faces and decide which, if any of them, I want to keep. So I can use my normal arrow keys to arrow between the two photos to view the faces. And then I'm just gonna hit the number four on my keyboard to pick the ones that I want. You know, I actually kinda of like both of these. They're a little different look. So I'm gonna give both of these a four. So this one is a four. I'll move to the next one and I'll give it a four. Now I'm ready to move on to the next set of duplicate photos. The best way to do that is to use the command right arrow or the control right arrow key on your keyboard. As long as Light Panel is the forwardmost app, which it is right now, it will automatically move to the next set of duplicate photos. So you see right here, we're on the first of 123 groups. And if I hit the arrow button, it will go to the next group. But what we want to avoid is the clicking back and forth between Lightroom and Light Panel. We want to use our keyboard instead, because that's a lot faster way to work. Or if you've created an external control surface, like a loop deck, you can program these keyboard shortcuts into it and it'll do it for you. So again, to move to the next group, right arrow with command or control. So I just hit command right arrow, and now boom, it takes me to the next set of duplicate photos that are similar to each other. And now it's just a matter of picking which of these I like. Uh, let's see, between these two, do I like the smile or the not smile? You know, I kind of like the not smile in this case. I'm gonna give that a four star. We're gonna leave the smile one out. And then again, move to the next group, command right arrow. Now I see the next group of duplicates, and it's just a matter of picking which ones I like. Uh, you know, of these, I think the smile is the only one that I like, so I'm gonna hit number four. You'll also notice that on the middle photo, it has a yellow flag on it. That yellow flag warns me that the eyes are closed. And again, he's looking down, it looks like his eyes are closed. So that's just a warning. It doesn't mean it removes it from the duplicate group. If something is blurry or something has eyes closed, it'll still be in the duplicates and you can still review them and you can still promote them up to a select photo if you want to. There's many times where you'll have a photo that might be 
out of focus because you drag the shutter or the eyes might be closed because you have the subject look down and you wanted those looks on purpose. So all these are meant to do is give you a warning so that you look at the photo. It doesn't actually pick the photos for you. That's still your job. You're the photographer. All right, let's move on to my next set here. Now, I'm not going to walk through this entire wedding. Again, there's 123 duplicate groups that you'd want to go through. Well, the process is the same as what I'm doing here. You just go from group to group to group, picking which ones you want to promote to a select and leaving the ones that you don't want in that three-star duplicate state. And then when you are done, you can go back and you can review the blurries or the potential eye-closed photos and promote any of those that you want to the selects as well. All right, that's about it. That's all there is to it to go through and review your duplicates and do the automatic calling process in LightPanel. Thanks for watching.